We are here with HCDF and they're going to show us around the farm. Okay, uh, we recently we named the farm. It used to be just the Lomo farm, <laughs> but now we just named it Jubilee. Actually, it's almost a, after one of our mentors, friend, long-time supporter who passed away last year. His name is Lord Noble. And his big thing was about Jubilee justice. You know, you couldn't talk to him without hearing about that and immediately hearing, hearing about Haiti, hearing about the Haiti Christian Development Fund. He was our biggest promoter for many years. You know, and his wife is now also. You know, so he was, he's from Iowa and a lot of our agricultural support come from Iowa. And Sukup, which is uh, where our storage bins are made and from, is they, they are made in Iowa. It's a firm there, and it's through another friend of ours, Don Van Hollen, uh, whom we got. It's a long way on how we got in contact with each other, but he and his family, you know, have generously contributed a lot of the equipment here. You know, even if we pay for something, chances are at least fifty percent came from them. You know, as, as gifts. You know, so. We are dearly indebted to them. So we have those four bins and we are farming what would be equivalent to about 200 acres. Okay. No, no, no. It's more than that. More than that. Yeah, more than that right? About 400, yeah, three to 400 acres, something like this. And what do you store in the bins? And whatever we harvest. We can have three crop harvests per year. And we often would do corn, and then after that we would do beans and then we would do sorghum and then we would do beans and whatever we do we can easily store them you know in the in the bins and sometimes wait for when the market is best uh, and sometimes because of the need like we had last season we had to go ahead and sell even while it while it was not the best time but the grain was needed because of political problems for transportation elsewhere uh, so, so both the bins and this building, you know, is from Sukkot. And it, again, because of our connection with uh, Van Hollen, the, Steve Sukkot and Dan Van Hollen are good friends. Uh, and I, I want to point out this little tractor <laughs> right there, which was our very first tractor. Uh, and we were just getting started, you know, with what to do about farming. And we used it to plow several individual plots of lands for different farmers, you know, throughout the Fondebla area. You know. And then we soon realized that it would be even more efficient if we could establish ourselves, you know, on a, a large plot of land and just bring additional equipment you know, so right now, in Haiti, even commercially, I think we have more agricultural technology than anyone else. Wow. Uh, and you'll see inside, you know, but I'll explain outside. You know, we have planters. We have another one inside. Uh, this is a head for a combine. This one is for beans. There is another one up front also, which is for beans. And there are different heads so that what will have is corn, what will have is beans, what will have is uh, millet or sorghum, as we call them. You know, so labor is, a, is another issue. Young people don't farm anymore here in Haiti. Everybody wants a motorcycle, you know, do taxi, everything else. So it's only a, the older generation that's still doing Got it. farming. And if we have to do a whole lot of labor intensive work, we cannot find enough people especially for sorghum that was difficult for us one year to harvest with the machinery we couldn't find people to and work. what is sorghum sorghum is like a sesame seed bigger and we cook it like you cook rice okay it grows like corn but you only yep. use the top the head part of, of the okay and that's what the different parts of the combine are for yeah that's, that's the head that goes on the combine uh, this one would have its beans and it, if we go this way you can find it you will see another head on this combine you know, so that head will harvest corn or millet you know you just do some minor adjustment you know, inside so that was our this first one. combine it still runs you know it may look a little bit raggedy 
but it still runs. And actually, <laughs> it is with it that we harvested corn, you know, last season. And I most likely will harvest corn with it again, you know, this season. When did you get this one? Uh, it was when we first started with the farm, maybe five years ago. Okay. You know, it was already used, you know, when we got it, and it, it's still still running. It looks like it's in it's pretty good shape still. Yeah. But we've moved up a lot <laughs> recently. Uh, you know, from that small, small tractor to this medium one up front, and now we have several large tractors. And it may be one of the largest that John Deere makes. So there is this model here, which is just a giant tractor. There isn't anything it will not pull. Actually, when we move from that little one to this one, we thought we had a big, big tractor. <laughs> Until we move from that one to this one, and then we realize how big the tractor really was. Yeah. And this, the technical word for it, it's called a drill, but which is essentially a planter. You know, we can plant beans or the sorghum with it. And Oh, so this is a planter. Yeah, that's a planter. You just hook it to the back of the tractor, okay. and attach the hoses, put your fertilizer, put your grain in, and then it goes. And it plates six rows you know, at a time. Put, put the grain in, put the fertilizer in, and you keep going. And the yellow band right there, that's what we call a planter formally. We use that more extensively than any other, than any other planter you know, for planting corn and millet also. For and this is our latest combine. And again, it's a very massive. modern <laughs> combine. It's massive. And, and again, if I, if, I, if, I, if I put another plug in, you know, one for Kellogg, because it was, it's through their financing that we were able to get those two pieces of equipment. But Von Hollings possibly pitching more than 50 percent you know of the oh, cost. Wow. you know i mean it just if you if you were to go on an auction to look for one of those you are in two hundred thousand dollars for it and i, I think you know, we got this we got that we got this and a few other things <laughs> you know all of it from from a van hauling it's for about a hundred thousand nice. so they have been extremely extremely generous you know to us and it continues to be very cool. Uh, so we, we, we plant those three main crops, corn, beans, sorghum. And we harvest. One of the first beneficiaries are the children at the school. Uh, we have about a thousand kids in the school, and we, they get a hot meal every day. You know, so, so what we don't, what, if we sell some goods, we buy some of the ingredients you know, to make the meal you know, for the children at, at the school. And as we expand, you know, we are looking into including more and more schools, you know, into a feeding program. Awesome. Here in Fond du Bloc? Here in Fond Bloc, yeah, our focus is, is Fond du Bloc. Okay. Uh, the farm itself, like I say, about 100 hectares, which is 300 acres or so, uh, it, it's owned by a number of families. And each one of them put their land into like a association you know, under the management of the farm. So we decide what we plant, when we plant, what we harvest, even what we market. And then the profit, part of it goes to them, part of it goes to the farm, and part of it is used, you know, for feeding programs. Very cool. So and then doing. around the corner, you mentioned there's something you guys do with the grain. Uh, we, we are moving into our next phase. You know, one is expansion, going further, possibly adding another you know, 300 hectares, at least, you know, do it but also it's going to be into transformation because selling the raw corn, yeah, you can make a little profit, but once you mill it, package it and so on, you can get tenfold, you no know, more. You know, so we are already milling, mostly for the score, but we will be sifting and packaging, and that's still rough packaging. We have more equipment to get to really bag, seal, print, uh, that will have a logo that would most likely say Jubilee Farms, a product of Fonde Blanc, you know, okay. being sold, you know, throughout the country. So this unit is, is, in particular is just a bagger. You know, you just dump as much corn as you want up there, tell it, you know, what size bag you have, 10 pounds, 25 pounds, 100 pounds, and it will just fill it 
we have rollers to roll it, we have a sewing machine to sew it, and have it ready to go out. So that's part of our main focus you know, this coming year. It's really transformation in packaging and marketing. So over the next three years, we should have a full operation from raw production to finished products ready to go to market. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing us around. Yeah, no, it's my pleasure. <laughs>